let me show you the fastest way that I know to generate mockups in bulk. So I've got 120 designs right here within my designs. I'm going to select all of them, head to the image mockups. I will now load a profile. This is a new feature that they've added and I'll select my template right here. I saved earlier. It's going to pre-select all the settings that I had beforehand with the different colors, the correct mockups that I want in my listing. And now I just need to click generate mockups, confirm the action, and it's going to add literally hundreds and hundreds of mockups jobs to my queue. This is over a thousand mockups generating. And as you can see, this is super, super quick. So once you've set up your own template, it will literally just take about one minute to generate up to a thousand mockups. Here we are. This is what it looks like a minute later. They're all done, as you can see, and we've got color chat we've got product details, we've got couples mockups, everything was pre-selected. I've also done some for sweatshirts, hoodies, so if you always generate mockups for the same types of products and with the same sorts of colors, then these profiles are going to absolutely save the game for you. So let me show you how to set these up yourself. So the tool that we're going to be using for this is called My Designs. In case you've never heard about it, I personally use it all the time. I've got a massive playlist filled with tutorials about this tool and you can use it not just for generating mockups, but also for generating AI art, for bulk removing backgrounds, upscaling, vectorizing, for generating your listing data, and bulk publishing your designs to Etsy, Shopify, or WooCommerce. So if you're new to this, there will be a link in the description along with a custom discount code. So once you've logged into My Designs, the first thing you need to do is head to the Listings tab and click on the Folder System right at the top. Then we're going to add a new folder, give it a relevant name, depending on what niche your designs are in. We'll just use the default template, hit Add New Folder. I will then select this folder and open it with this button in the bottom right corner. And now it's a case of importing or uploading our designs. You can do that up here. We'll use upload files and then just drag and drop everything that you want to create the mockups for in here. Then I'm going to click upload all. And by the way, I've already got these in the right size for the use on t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, etc. I save my files at 4,500 pixels in width and 5,400 pixels in height. If your designs are all different formats, then the mockup generator might make some of them look a bit wonky on the products, just so you know that. And in this example, I'm just using 20 designs as well, but you can do this with up to 120 designs with the top my designs plan as you saw me do it in the intro. Once all of your designs have finished uploading, you need to select all of them up here and then head to the mock-up generator on this side. Now it's a case of just finding the mock-ups that you always want to generate and therefore save in your profile. For example, if you sell the Bella Canva 3001, you can type in 3001 up here, hit enter, and those are going to be filtered out. Once you've found a mockup that you'd like the look of, first of all, what you want to do is enable multi mockup. That way we can select more than just one. And then you also need to pay attention to the shirt color right here because you might want to sell a different color to black. Maybe your designs are optimized for white, uh, but this right here defines what the shirt color is going to be in the final mock-up output. So for example, you can click in here and then you've got all the different production partners that are integrated with my designs and their color swatches for the Bella 3001. So if I wanted to sell this right here in navy, I can type that in. And if you usually sell with Swift PD, for example, then you just select this swatch and then you can generate a preview to make sure it looks okay. Meanwhile, we can now start clicking on some other mockups. For example, this color chart right here. For this one, you will want to ideally change the background color to something other than black. We'll just do 6F right here, so that way you get white. We want to generate that preview so we can see what it looks like. And this is basically the process. You scroll through, you try and find the mockups that you like the most or that suit your product the most. You enable them, you make sure you've got the right colors selected right here in terms of what you want to sell or what you want to typically generate. And they've also got some really cool ones. If you scroll further down, for example, I'd never seen this before, t-shirt variations, where you can have different design inputs or you can have multiple background colors right here for these shirts, which might not work perfectly for my design example, but just so you know, you've got 
very custom mockups in here as well, which will obviously take a bit of time to set up initially, but once you have them in your profile, then it's smooth sailing after that, where you've got some more color charts right here for light colors, and then these as well, which say only the best, and uh, you've got a bunch of details right here about the actual t-shirt as well as it says personalized again that might not work for your design or your listing but just so you know it exists you can even change the text which would be displayed right here so you can see over here in the example there is a bit of a uh, blurb a bit of default text you can change that and map it to one of your fields within my designs one of your listing data fields so that's a bit more advanced i just wanted to show you that it's there you don't have to do that you can even also upload your own mock-ups i'll show you where to do that at the end of this video so if you don't don't want to use the ones in here or if you have some custom ones that you would rather use for this bulk mock-up generator that is also possible but more on that later on in the video you've also got different categories up here so if you're not looking for clothing mock-ups but wall art stickers drinkware which would be coffee mugs tumblers or anything else we've got size charts you can filter that out specifically then just change the category up here and you can always search as well for a specific product for example if, if i wanted to add sweatshirts to this list as well i can just select a few of these default mockups right here go in and i'll change the the color right here for example we could do a forest green version and a dark heather and you don't need to generate the previous by the way that is optional but now we've already got a list up here of lots of different mock-ups you can slide across it with this bar let me just enable one more so you can see that a bit better so we can slide across right here and click through the different mock-up fields if you want to make any further changes to them and then if you're happy with the arrangement then you go up to save as profile and just give it a relevant name so in this case we could do 3001 plus 1800 and then dark because this is mainly dark colors in these mockups and then we'll save that and now you can always find it up here when you click load profile under your private profiles so now we've got this one at the top and if you ever wanted to make changes to it you can just load it up make a little change right here let's say we wanted this to be a different color change it to that and then you can resave your profile with a new name and then actually just delete the old one like this just so you know that that works as well and now you're ready to hit generate mockups in the bottom there we go that's going to add that job to the queue and for any future time that you want to do the same process with a different set of designs it is just a case of loading the profile no more messing around with all the different settings and color swatches the really tedious stuff has now been cut out of the process which is awesome my designs always works to make the processes as smooth as possible and they always try to eradicate the sort of tedious boring tasks within it so now as you can see we've already got all of them generated that was so quick and you can uh, double click on any of these file slots and that way it will show the mockups that have been generated for each design we'll double click on this one right here and then we get the flat lay down here we've got the sweatshirt mock-up so i think you get the gist if you wanted to download these if you don't want to sell your designs with my designs then you can also just go to quick actions you can hit download over here and then select all of the file slots that you want to download this right here is just the print file that you uploaded initially you can zip them up right here and then hit download to save them to your device and another quick example you might remember some of my past tutorials where i talked about selling digital download tumblr wraps well that also works with the profiles and it's usually quite tedious to set all of those mock-ups up with the mock-up generator so let me show you this example right here we've got 15 wraps for tumblers i'm going to select them all i'll head over to the uh, image mock-ups right here load a profile we've got the tumblr wraps saved over here and there we go everything gets selected instantly we can hit generate mock-ups you can always see the processes that are running up here if you click this bell symbol there we go it says how many are still processing and which ones have been completed and here we are they're all done that was literally just one minute to do that all i needed is the initial design files in a collection or within a folder inside of my designs that template is a private one in that mock-up generator but if you've ever sold digital tumblr wraps through my designs then you'll know how to set that up if not i do have an old tutorial on the channel where i walk through the process step by step so now we've got the tapered file right here which is one of the ones being sold we've got the straight and then obviously a bunch of cool looking mock-ups as well to go along with it so that's that uh, just to show you another example in case you want to use your own mock-ups and upload those into my designs then you can do that in the mock-ups tab over here 
you can download a sample. This is essentially a PSD file for Photoshop that shows you what the layers are supposed to look like because there's a specific naming system. And then once you have it set up, you can click on upload mockup in the top right corner. And this also explains the process and what your layers need to be named over here. If this looks confusing, don't worry. I've explained it in a previous video as well on my channel. So if you want to learn how to customize your mockups with Photoshop and have them imported right here into my designs to generate those in bulk, then make sure to check out this tutorial next.